Today, in the jungles of New Guinea, the Kornwai tribe are among the last cultures to practice cannibalism. To them, it's a revenge ritual. The act of consuming human flesh acts as a bid to ward off evil, particularly the Kakua, a demonic creature that brings inexplicable deaths and must be killed, dismembered, and eaten to be stopped. Everything is consumed, except for the teeth, the hair, bones, fingernails, toenails, penis, and head, which are all kept as trophies and displayed as warnings to other Kakua. From rituals like this, to history and horror stories, in today's episode, let's say, Hello, Clarice, to the taboo topic of cannibalism. In 2010, 800,000-year-old butchered bones were found in Spain's Grandolina Cave, indicating that cannibalism was rife among Western Europe's cavemen. But a mammoth would make for a much better prehistoric dinner party platter. Let's talk nutrition facts. One mammoth can feed 25 hungry Neanderthals for an entire month, but cannibalizing a human would provide the crowd with only one third of the day's calories. For our size, we aren't really packed with a ton of juicy calories. <laughs> According to estimates, boars and beavers pack about 1,800 calories into each pound of muscle compared with the measly 650 calories from your modern day human. JK, that's just pork. So why eat them then? Because human and animal remains were tossed away together at Grandolina, researchers speculate that our early human ancestors ate their meat, not for ritual reasons or for a religious feast or for a last resort. It was a casual everyday meal. So could people have actually peaked the palate? In 2016, the BBC's Greg Foote set out to scientifically determine what human flesh tasted like. He wasn't about to taste his own flesh, so he settled for analyzing its protein content and its aroma, which, believe it or not, accounts for up to 80% of perceived taste. Greg had a biopsy on his leg and some muscle taken out and found that this was similar in comp composition to chicken and beef. And it smelled like beef and ale stew, revealing that it would probably taste a combination of lamb and pork. Some experts or experts, I would agree. Norwegian art student Alexander Selvik Wangshall had to have his hip operated on in 2010. After convincing the doctor to give him his femur once it was taken out, he decided to boil the bone and try his own flesh, considering it an art project. Finding it tasty, he went on to roast the meat with some potatoes and pair it with some wine. According to Alex, it tasted like wild sheep. Then on the other hand, less artsy fartsy, we've got American serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer, who described it as filet mignon, and Germany's infamous Armin Muse, who posted an ad on the internet looking for what he called a young, well-built man who wanted to be eaten. How does he find that? He did. He noted the taste of pork like this, but with a stronger and more bitter flavor. Believe it or not, now behind bars for life, Muse is now a vegetarian. Disclaimer, in the United States, there are no laws specifically against cannibalism. However, the act of cannibalism typically violates laws against murder and the desecration of corpses. Yum. Hopefully you guys haven't lost your appetite for the weird because we'll be back next week with more cool stuff and strange things. Bone appetit.